For years, the two BC residents have been fighting a long legal battle to stay here in Canada and avoid facing charges in India. But now their fate is in the hands of lawyers and judges in Punjab. It was a somewhat dramatic first appearance. Surjit Singh Badesha and Mulkit Kaur Sidhu arrived with their faces covered, escorted by police and greeted by a crowd of reporters. Who uh, come uh, to came there uh, with the black uh, cover on their face and only they can see with their eyes. Uh, uh, for, for the, from the body language, I, I don't think so that... Uh, uh, what is the reaction? What was the reaction of uh, the two duo uh, at that time? Because uh, we were not able to see their, see their faces. It's not clear why the two wore bags on their head, but Punjabi media believe it has to do with keeping them safe in India. Canada's Department of Justice has yet to release more information on the conditions of the extradition. Badesha and Sidhu are accused of planning the murder of Jazzy Sidhu because they didn't like who she secretly married in India. Mitu, they say said was beneath them. Former journalist Fabian Dawson has followed the story from the start since spring 2000. He's not convinced there will be justice for Jazzy. The Indian chapter of this story opens up now and I hope I'm wrong here but my belief is that the chances of them getting an acquittal are pretty high in India. Now 38, Jazzy's husband Mithu has never remarried and continues to mourn the loss of his wife. He was not in court to see his in-laws face their charges. Badesha and Sidhu appeared briefly before a judge. They'll be held in custody for another four days before they make their next appearance. Belpuri, CBC News, Vancouver.